Hi, in this video, I am going to explain how to find the numerical solution of the differential equation by using Euler method. If uh, we have differential equation dy by dx is equal to f of x y with initial condition y of x naught is equal to y naught. Initial condition uh, means uh, uh, y naught is the solution of the differential equation at initial point x naught. Our interest is to find the solution of this differential equation on more points of the interval a comma b. For this purpose, we are dividing this interval into number of uh, sub intervals by the points x naught, uh, x one, x two, and so on. See, I have drawn the small figure here. If this is our closed interval, we are dividing this interval into number of sub intervals, and distance between these two points and x naught, x one, uh, x one, and x two, x two, and x three, and so on is uniform. We are assuming which is equal to h. We call h as a step size, and points x naught, x one, x three, and so on are called as mesh points or grid points. In general, we can write step size h is equal to x n plus one minus x n, uh, which implies x n plus one is equal to x n plus h, which means x two is equal to x one plus this distance h. To solve this differential equation, we have Euler formula: y n plus one is equal to y n plus H into f of x n comma y n, where f of x n comma y n is the value of this function at point x n comma y n, and y n plus one denotes the solution of the differential equation at point x n plus one. Here y not denotes the solution of the differential equation at point x not. Similarly, y one denotes the solution of the differential equation at point x one. Y two denotes the solution of the differential equation at point x two, and so on. Uh, see the example. Use the Euler method to solve the differential equation dy by dx is equal to one plus x y on interval zero comma zero point four with step size zero point one with initial condition y of zero is equal to one. Initial condition y of zero is equal to one, which means x not is equal to zero and uh, y not is equal to one. Here we have to solve this differential equation on this interval as step size h is given zero point one. Therefore, we are calculating the solution at point zero, zero point one, zero point two, zero point three, and zero point four. First, compare this differential equation uh, with the, this differential equation, which is standard one. Then we get f of x y is equal to one plus x y. X not is equal to zero, and y not is equal to one. And step size is given, which is equal to zero point one. We have Euler formula: y n plus one is equal to y n plus h into f of x n comma y n. For the first iteration, we are taking n is equal to zero. Put n is equal to zero here. Then we get y1 is equal to y0 plus h into f of x0 comma y0. As our step size h is constant, which is equal to 0.1, x0 is the initial point, which is equal to zero, and y0 is equal to one, which is the solution of differential equation at point x0, which is one. Then calculate the value of function f of x y at x0 comma y0, which is equal to one plus x0 into y0, which is equal to one. Then put all these values in this equation. Then we get y1 is equal to 1.1. This is the solution of differential equation at point x1. For second iteration, we are taking n is equal to 1. Then we get a y2 is equal to y1 plus h into f of x1 y1. Here h is equal to 0.1, which is a constant, and y1 is equal to solution of differential equation obtained in last iteration. Uh, we have x1 is equal to x0 plus h, as x0 is equal to 0, h is equal to 0.1. We get x1 is equal to 0.1. Then calculate the value of function at point x1 comma y1. Then we get 1 plus x1 into y1. Substitute the value of x1 and y1 only. We get 1.11. Put all these values in this equation. Then we get the solution of the differential equation at point x2, which is equal to y2. Which is equal to one point two one one. For third iteration, we are putting n is equal to two. Then we get y three is equal to y two plus h into f of x two comma y two. As y two is the solution obtained in the last iteration, which is equal to one point two one one. H step size h is constant, which is equal to zero point one. We have x two is equal to x one plus h. Put the value of x one and h. We get x two is equal to zero point two. This is a simple calculation. Then calculate the value of function at point x two comma y two. We have a value of x two and uh, y two also. This is the x two and this is 
y2 put all this value in this equation only calculate a uh, value of function at x2 comma y2 and put all this value in this diff this equation and then we get y3 is equal to 1.3352 again for fourth iteration take n is equal to 3 put n is equal to 3 we get y4 is equal to y3 plus h into value of function at x3 comma y3 uh, we have y3 in last iteration 1.3352 step size h is uniform which is equal to 0 0.1 and uh, we have x3 is equal to x2 plus h put the value of x2 only and uh, h then we get x3 is equal to 0 0.3 then we have the f of x3 comma y3 is equal to 1 plus x3 into y3 which is equal to 1.40056 uh, therefore y4 is equal to uh, just substitute all the value here then we get y4 is equal to 1.47 53. In this way, we can find all the numerical solution of the differential equation by using Euler method at different points on the interval. This solution can be written in the tabulated form as in this form we can write all the solution at point x is equal to 0 we have solution y is equal to 1 this is actually the initial condition at point 0 0.1 we have solution 1.1 at point 0 0.2 we have solution 1.211 at point 0 0.3 we have this solution at point 0 point at point 0 0.4 we have this solution thank you for watching this video if you like this video please like and share it for more such videos subscribe to the youtube channel www youtube.com slash live mathematica if you have any doubt write in comment box video related to that topic will be uploaded as soon as possible or you can like the facebook page live mathematica post your doubt on the page i will try to solve it in couple of days thank you